Hi everyone, my name's Imogen, I'm from Course Report. We are a resource for researching which coding bootcamp is right for you. We have a directory of different coding schools, a blog, and interviews with founders, instructors, and students, all to help you work out which bootcamp you want to go to. Today I'm speaking with Melanie, who is a student studying remotely with Thinkful's Career Path program. Melanie is going to answer our questions about Thinkful's online platform and even share her screen with us so we can get an insight to the Thinkful learning experience. So Melanie, thank you so much for joining us today. You're very um, welcome. It's really exciting to be able to talk with you about this. Um, so I was wondering if at first you could go through and tell us your kind of pre-Thinkful story and your kind of background before you decided you wanted to learn to code. Uh, sure. Um, so I come from a background that combines art and science. Uh, so previous to this, I did a degree in chemistry as well as a degree in science visual communication. And it was during the latter that I was exposed to web development. Um, I took my first JavaScript class and fell in love. Um, so after graduating, um, I continued on uh, to do um, to work in illustration, creating textbook illustrations for undergrad science courses. Um, but always on the side, I've been working on uh, you know, side projects that involve HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, and just out of um, passion and curiosity. Um, and just in the last year or so, I decided that I'd like to pursue it more um, as a career. So I researched different front-end boot camps and decided to uh, join Thinkful. Awesome. Um, so when did you actually start Thinkful and did you kind of have to quit your job or are you continuing to work? Sure. Uh, I started Thinkful um, in the new year. I think it was, um, no actually I correct, <laughs> that was incorrect. Uh, November I think, mid-November is when I started Thinkful and I have been doing it um, on part-time in addition to working at my full-time job. Oh that's awesome. Wow that's so committed of you. Um, and so you mentioned that you were um, kind of doing a bit of coding beforehand. Did you use a, a number of other resources like Code Academy or, or anything like that? That's right, yeah. So um, I started uh, doing um, programs on Code School uh, mainly as well as um, things I could pick up through lynda.com, um, but I found that just doing those small one-off courses didn't really give me a good overview or a good uh, delta towards a, a career in web development. Um, so I chose Thinkful because it gave me a, a clear path towards a career. That's awesome. And, and once you decided that you, know, you felt you did need to do a boot camp, did you, um, did you decide you wanted to do an online boot camp specifically or did you look at other types of boot camps? I created a spreadsheet of different boot camps. Uh, so I considered uh, brick and mortar boot camps here in, uh, where I live um, as well as um, uh, uh, Udemy I think has a nano uh, course uh, in front-end web development. So that kind of like was the get um, the range between like quit my job, work, uh, started a you know a physical boot camp where I meet with people every day, um, versus something that's completely online where I don't have them you know I'm not meeting with someone and it's really um, self-directed. Um, so I found Thinkful to be a happy kind of medium between the two um, that both that also let me keep my job. Um, so I get the one-on-one -on -one time with a person from the industry um, as well as a clear path towards the career. Um, and I don't, it's less risk involved because I get to, I don't have to quit my job to, to learn. That's awesome. That sounds like a really smart decision. Um, and what was the application process like when you were applying to Thinkful? Well, um, when I was originally learning about Thinkful, um, I, um, to be able to see the course curriculum, I submitted my my email um, address to them and quickly received an email back, uh, would you like to meet with us to learn more? Um, so I decided to do that and I met with uh, Liz Parkesian um, to hear more about Thinkful and just basically ask questions about what it was about, how, how, um, how the program worked and so on. And I got a really good feeling from that and from there um, I met with uh, Derek Fogue uh, to discuss the career path program and decided to join. 
That's so awesome. That's so cool. And can you tell me a bit about the kind of overall learning um, experience? Like, what's a typical day for you when you're when you're working on your Thinkful material? Uh, a typical day will begin in the evening. So after work, I'll typically come home um, and um, log into my dashboard and continue on from the project I was working on, either reading materials that um, are next along my career path or working on a project or working on um, a portfolio project. Um, and as well as um, in the evenings of every um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll also meet with my mentor. Um, to, to discuss um, any problems or issues I have, um, and um, etc. That's so cool. So do you just have one mentor who you communicate with regularly? That's right. Uh, I have one mentor, Jack Melnick, shout out Jack, um, that I meet with every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for an hour. Um, so it's really motivating to, to proceed or pr with the coursework if you know that you have a mentor meeting coming up. That's awesome. And what sort of pace have you been learning at? Like how many hours per week have you been able to spend on this so far? Sure. Well, I've actually been tracking that in other spreadsheets, so I can tell you with some reliability that it varies um, between 20 and 30 hours per week. Cool. And um, are you, do you know how long it's going to take you to, uh, to finish the course and when you might graduate? Sure. Um, so I started in November, so I'm about six and a half months or so. Um, I'm hoping with the next uh, month and a half I'll, I'll be graduating. Awesome. Cool. Um, that's so interesting. Now we're ready to do the screen share. Yay! Cool. Um, awesome. So maybe you can just start by showing us kind of the main dashboard and, and directory for the platform and what you see when you first log in. Sure. So this is uh, the dashboard that I see when I first log into my account. Um, first and foremost at the top are my goals. So these are, uh, I guess, major milestones along my career path. I'm a little over halfway through at goal 15 out of 24. The last goal I completed was a mock interview on May 2nd. Um, beneath that is... Um, as my specific progress towards uh, a goal. So um, I'm currently on Learn One front end framework and I'm 9% complete of that goal. Um, and I can access the course material for that goal by clicking on the continue course button. Cool. Which will bring me to the content for that particular uh, goal, where I'm at in the content. So I'll just go back actually to the home page. Okay. And what are those numbers at the side where it says one day, one commit? Sure. So at the side uh, here is my streak, which sort of tracks uh, um, um, how, I guess, my learning streak. So it will say, well, right now my learning streak is um, unfortunately only one day. So in the past one day, I've only made one commit and I've completed zero assignments. Um, so this, um, the idea is to um, help motivate me to, to increase my streak of, of days where I've committed or completed assignments. Um, beneath that is my team, um, which shows me who my mentor is, Jack, and gives me a link to the video uh, chat room that I would go to to meet with him and also a link to Derek Folk, the program manager. Beneath that, these are all the curricula that are currently available for me to follow. Um, so right now I'm actually going through the front end and Angular JS curricula. Cool. And have you worked on any of the other ones or are you just doing that one? Uh, I've completed the front end web development and the web development career path curricula so far. Awesome. That's so cool. Um, and so, can you take us back through to one of the lessons that you're working on? Um, sure. So, I'm at, I guess, the sixth um, part of lesson two in unit one of introducing Angular. Um, so, right, the particular project I'm working on now, I'm sort of given instructions for creating this Angular app of Madlibs, and um, 
with some resources that I'll need to complete it, some gentle guidance, and at the very end is a link, or this is where I'd submit my link to the completed project. Um, so I was, this is not a real link, but just to show you, um, once I click Submit, that uh, task is checked off, um, which is reflected um, in my progress bar in the home page. That's cool. And so um, when you're working on projects, is that you, the ones that are ticked off on the side, those are all the ones that you've already um, done? That's right, yeah. So this gives me a clear idea of what, what uh, I've done and what still needs to get done. That's cool. That's, that's so nice and clear so that you really feel like you're making progress. Yes, yes. It, uh, it makes a bit of a gain too. Nice, that's cool. And you were saying that you, you paste the link to your project in there. Where are you building your project? Um, so the link would be to um, my GitHub account uh, where I've been, um, I guess, saving my project to. Cool, that's awesome. So how, do you, how, do you, how much do you use GitHub um, as part of uh, this thing for program? Uh, all the time, yeah. So since the, um, the first or second lesson in the course where we introduced to GitHub, we've been using it for every single project. That's really awesome. Um, and how do you communicate with um, mentors and, and other students? Sure. Um, so the main way I communicate with my mentor, um, well, I communicate with them every uh, three days a week for an hour. And for that, um, I would go to our video chat room. And um, otherwise, if it's not a meeting time, then we communicate through Slack. Um, I wonder if I can. Yeah, so here this thing called Slack channel. Um, and there's several channels for the, that you can join. Uh, so right now I'm showing this is the front end or the web development career path channel. So I would post questions to here that uh, students or their mentors can answer. Um, and I. Otherwise, I can chat with my mentor through our, you know, private, private uh, chat messages, and um, yeah. So there's different different channels I can um, join to ask specific questions. That's so cool. And so, do you answer people's questions sometimes as well? Yes. Sometimes I do know the answer to some questions, and I will try to answer. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, and are you able to show us the the video? app that you use to communicate? Yes. Uh, I'll go to the room now. Cool. Um, so this is a video conference room uh, that I would join with my mentor. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, there's a uh, things you can do in here. So if, um, if during a mentor session my, my mentor wants to send me some code, then he'll copy it through the chat window. Um, elsewise, there's other you know, buttons that write you can use uh, to mute um, background noise, turn off your video, share your screen, or open the chat back up. That's so cool. Yeah, it's almost like it's really similar to like Google Hangouts, but, but it's awesome that it's integrated with your actual platform. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so it's built right in, so you don't need to uh, worry about uh, setting up a, an account with Google or um, going through their interface. It's uh, quite streamlined. Very cool. And do you just chat with mentors in here, or can you chat, chat with other students as well? Um, so each mentor in Thinkful has their own room, so uh, students don't have their own room. So uh, you could chat with other mentors, um, uh, through their own channels, um, but um, not other students. That's cool. And is, is this where you do your, um, your three times weekly one-on-one -on -one with your mentor? That's right, yes. Cool. That's awesome. Um, and what, what kind of um, feedback loop is there built into the platform? Like if, if you want to give feedback on, a, on something you've been working on or... Um, so I don't, um, in my experience there isn't a structured feedback loop, uh, mainly if I wanted to say, um, give feedback about um, 
course content, I would just simply mention it in the Slack channel, but there isn't an, um, sort of an otherwise blessed path to do that. That makes sense. Cool. And how is the job hunt when you graduate integrated into the learning experience? Um, well, I haven't graduated yet, so I can't speak from experience. Uh, but what I've experienced so far is that um, so what Thinkful does is they is they um, uh, arrange mock interviews uh, with students uh, happening about every month to every month and a half or so. Um, and these mock interviews give you practice at uh, so the questions that you'll be faced when you actually start um, interviewing for development positions in the real world. Um, following that, my understanding is that I'll be paired with a career coach who will help me through the process of um, uh, working on my CV and helping me um, on the job hunt to find uh, um, suitable positions. That's awesome. Um, and are there any are there any steps in the in the on the online part towards careers, or will you be talking to the career coach like through that same video platform? Uh, I assume so, um, but I'm not. Uh, I haven't uh, done that yet. Okay, cool. That's awesome. And and so far from from your experience using this platform, what do you like best about it? So what I less like um, best about Thinkful in general is. Uh, is the is the mentorship aspect? Um, I find it really valuable to not only, well, I've not only gained um, real insights into the industry, but um, after meeting with someone for an hour three times a week, they also become your friends. <laughs> so um, for that reason, actually, I think graduating from Thinkful is going to be a bit bittersweet. But yeah, the community and mentorship aspects are really the best features. That's awesome. That's so cool. And have you have you kind of found other students who you chat with quite regularly? Not regularly, but I have been chatting with a few other students and um, uh, made some offline connections with uh, um, a couple of them. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Um, and how would you say that Thinkful, the Thinkful experience is different from using like a free online platform like Code Academy? So Thinkful, it's biggest difference is, in addition to the mentorship aspect, is that it does give you a clear delta from getting from A to B, from getting from where I am now to a, a job in the industry. So as opposed to Code School or Code Academy, where it's like learn a language, learn, learn JavaScript, learn HTML, um, which are skills, which are good to know. Uh, Thinkful really gives you um, a really broad, this, these, are the, these are what you need to know to to be a developer in the industry. That's awesome. That's so cool. Um, and what kind of advice do you have for people who are thinking about taking an online coding boot camp in order to, you know, become a developer? Um, my advice would be to consider uh, what you hope to get out of the experience. Um, so if you're if you're looking for a change in career, Thinkful is a great option. If you're generally interested in learning different skills. Um, well, Thinkful does offer courses that aren't career path courses, which might be useful too. Um, so I guess if you're looking to level up quickly, um, Thinkful is a great option. Um, but if you're just looking to pick up skills, then uh, Code School and Code Academy are, of course, great places to start too. Cool. That sounds like really good advice. Awesome. All right. Well, that's all of my questions now. So. Thank you so much, Melanie, for making time to do this. It's been so interesting, and I think this is going to be so helpful for students who are trying to work out, you know, whether to do an online boot camp or an in-person one or which online boot camp to do because now they can come look at this and see what the experience is going to be like. Good. Yeah. I'm glad I could help. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome.